Hello everyone, this is Via Crossplayer. Um, in case you're wondering, I know you might all know me as Silverblaze, uh, the guy who posted an anime video one time, but I need to tell you something. Um, I'm announcing, I am announcing a new channel that I'm starting. It's called Rio Cross Player, and in case you wonder where the cross comes from, it's a cross with an X. Rio, or Rio, it, Rio with an I, cro cross X, and player. I'm planning on using that channel for my net, for videos that I haven't done in a long time. If you want to see the rest of these videos, including this one, well, this one will be on that channel, so this slide, but this, but I will, um, uh, um, but if you go to the channel, you'll see the rest of them, the older videos. In case you're wondering, that yeah, they're the same. They're basically the same, same as me. But they, but they are really good. Uh, but this is a new channel. Please check it out and um, enjoy the video. So crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? You came. Um, yeah. You really came. What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. Will Lady Hun be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and try something funny? <laughs> I bet, I bet you're just jealous because you, because if that happens, you won't be able to see it. <laughs> I told you not to come out. Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? Uh, no, Ryuji, we can't. Um, let's just learn more about Ryuji. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Mm-hmm. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart. Like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. I have a feeling it's more than that, man. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. Hmm? You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something... Madarame-san is actually here? Over there! I'm so glad I came on opening day! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, stop pushing! Oh, great! There's way too many people! Think it out of there, man! I'm Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, all right? Good. I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, since he creates all this by himself, he's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. Indeed. painting I wanted to see in person. This one? I guess it's the painter's anger. 
I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <laughs> Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. H hey! Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. But thanks to that, I remember now. What about on? Let's not worry about it for now. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Mm hmm? Why'd you leave without me? Ah, oh, there she is. You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. Madarame? What's it say? <laughs> A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. <laughs> plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? Some people. I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. The saddest part about one's true nature is that they can often hide behind masks. Kind of, kind of similar to one's I, I know, including myself. Actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh. Yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? I'm pretty sure he does. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitago Akun gave me his contact info and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Well then. Well, there's something I need to go go and do. What do you want to do? Now let's see. Make sure you close up. Wow. I'm gonna skip this. This is just gonna be <laughs> Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> Hey there, I'm Dr. Maruki, your school counselor. Thanks to this school, I can even talk to you outside of counseling now. I want to talk a little about how mental health and perception can affect you. Don't worry, I don't want to stress you out or anything. Just relax and listen. How much do you guys know about the emotional mind? So, see, what's going on in your mind can affect your body pretty significantly. There's proof that it can even heal you, depending on your outlook. So, Akiyama-kun. Any ideas? Do you... 
What do we call the phenomenon where believing in a treatment's power is enough to improve your condition? I believe it's called the... This is it. That's right. Yep, that's correct. Some people satisfy the plate placebos and don't actually have any current properties. But even if medicine does nothing chemically, it can affect your perception and can help you feel better. Oh, uh, oops. Uh, we call it ne nocebo. No. Maybe we, I should uh, ask if I can borrow his notes. Nice going. Well, you really are smart to be able to answer a question like that. It's just easy. It's just easy psychology. Finally, I got up. All right. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna skip over this one. Phantom thieves going by train. This ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet! We didn't pay the pet fare. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Oh, Kitty! Uh, shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. It's a stuffed animal! Yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. You heard her. Press on its head. This is ridiculous. Well, we again, again. <laughs> Time to fun mash. transfer to if anything this is the closest station seriously what and we gotta walk the rest of the way what kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination stop your complaining it's supposedly a shack but this is the neighborhood he lives in as expected of a famous artist looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street let's move fine this is gonna be hard. Okay, this. Uh, great. Uh, Central Street, huh? Okay. Wow, beautiful day. No, that's the underground walkway. Nope. Still. Oh, hold on. Huh? Nope. Hold on. Wait, Central Street. Which one was it again? Oh, that way. I can't do this. I'll show you expect that. Wait. Um. Tsuguru Kamashita. Former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. 
Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Who is it? Sensei is currently... Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. Takamaki, sir. You two are here as well? Hey, sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? We read about it online. This? <laughs> Gray is laughing it off. Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He welcomes pupils into his own home. This is no act of violence, it is charity. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... that is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! You really think that? Yusuke... What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors! Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. They can't. Again, it's half true and can is half wrong. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. True. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? Mm -hmm. This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh. Hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Matarame has a palace too, right? But why? Matarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Matarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean, like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? Hmm. That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. 
Then what about prison? Mm -mm. Ah, what a pain! Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? I have a feeling it's a museum. Beginning navigation. Beginning navigation? Whoa, really? Oh crap! Here we go! Oh man, uh... Hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised me! Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed, and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Probably would've figured it out once you started walking on two legs. Urgh. So even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yes. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that! Look! That shack is seriously some kind of museum? Oh, you gotta Let's be go me. check it out. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ugh. So extravagant, to the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Matarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse, either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for phantom thieves? Ha! <laughs> there you got, got that right, Ryuji. Yeah, definitely! Now that's our Joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Well then, let's continue. It's time to begin our infiltration. Um, we are gonna have to wait in that gigantic line. <sighs> Don't be stupid, we're not going in the front door. There's a large wall around the building. Shall we go? We must have find a way up over it then. In that case, let's get going. Alright, let's find a way. This should do. Yep. Since we have anything so that run down shaft, overwhelmingly shiny. It's not like it's just not hitting me that this is the old that old guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's check it out. Okay, let's go. Let's see. So if it's closed for today, await your return on another date. We'll send more guards over here. Just two. It's two of us won't be able to deal with this whole crowd. Oh. There's our chance. Looks like security's focused on the front entrance. There'll be less elsewhere to go. Yes. Security's tied in front entrance. We should bypass them and head another way. Crap. Okay. Okay, let's see. Alright. Skylight's open. I think we can get in here. It's, but it's a pretty far drop. Uh, will we be able to get, get back this way? Now's my time to hey, don't worry. I have a rope. From our special, from our tool specialist, after all. Um, so, what's your call, Joker? Want to head inside? Let's do this. Now it's time for some action. How suspicious. It's quiet in here. Almost eerily so. Oh, 
Hey, this is... It's moving. Come on, it's a palace. They're, 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 they ain't anything to freak you out over. Hmm. This is... Hmm. A palace reflects its ruler's heart. We may want to check these paintings out. Hmm? There's some kind of explanation here. Let me see. Someone's name and age. The hell? That can't be a tile of the painting, right? Do you think that it's the artist's name? Hmm. Let's check the other paintings too. I think there's something that that's important about them. Okay. Hey, hey. any sense. Madarame is famous for having a variety of art styles, but all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the... Wait a sec. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the, the one who was shit-talking Madarame? Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? Oh, I don't know. Maybe that is him? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? I have a feeling that that the only we, uh, Like, these are all the same, right? That could also mean that these art stuff... That Amari's art, art style is basically the same thing. He... And these are all his work, his art style. So, and since he has, and different artists. Oh, I see. Yep. And I'm guessing the only, and like I said, the only reason he's here is um, yeah, you, hmm, yeah, you'll find this soon is quite the mystery. All right, let's keep looking around for now. Okay, let's go. Huh? What? No way! Hey, isn't this a painting of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? Monarami's pupils. I think you're right. For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. Alright, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Right. I made a lockpick earlier. Oh. Yep. Feel free. Okay, let's continue on. Conglomerate work of art that the great director Manorame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? 
Damn it. What a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This That's even what says I thought. that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Matarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! Actually, he does. He did say that he owes Matarame his life for being taken in. Exactly. But still... When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Matarame? Let's do this. That's what I'm talking about! Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Matarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? She has no choice. You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. Yeah. Famous, renowned artist, huh? Wow, oh, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real phantom thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. Hmm. Amen to that, brother. Probably. I knew it. It ain't like he thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I, I'm not wrong, am I? We'll take him down. Oh uh, yeah. Don't tell on I called you, by the way. Uh seriously. Okay. Go. I got a response from Kitagawa-kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. She got a hold of Mishima today? It'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, I'll split up. 
Okay, see you later. We finally landed a big target. But man, Han's late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Matarame? The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Does something seem different about her to you? Uh... No, not at all. She's got more makeup on or something. Nope, I'm the same as always. Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. Yep, time it right. Good ta tactile on. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous, too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Ouch. Is there a problem? No, not really. Yay for Morgana! Well then, let's get started. Okay, this is gonna take a while. This is not gonna be fun. Hey, Kitagawa-kun. Hmm. You hear her? Hmm. It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were going to catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was going to happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Just waiting around is a waste of time. This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Are you done? It's no good. Hmm? What? What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... Uh... I knew it. Your sensei's seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still. <sighs> Kitagawa-kun. Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? 
There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. You're okay with this? I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? I have a feeling you yeah, feeling there's way wrong than, than you think. Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Oh, crap. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. I have a feeling he has something even more in mind. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! I knew it! What? Nude? Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Sensei is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely. I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? <laughs> of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans. But please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? Leave. Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! Just give it up on... Is she done being a model? A cat? You moron! <laughs> He's totally out of his mind! I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up! How dare that, Yusuke! The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? <gasps> Lady Yon's gonna... What are you thinking, Morgana? Tell me, what are you thinking? Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady Yon, you're fine with bearing it all? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Hitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Then that means... The 
Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Ooh. Uh. Uh. I can say it'd be funny. Are you not confident? What? Are you saying I'm. Uh, no, I mean. That's not what this is about! <laughs> we must deal with Matarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. I have a feeling I'm more of that Morgana. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Matarame's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. I guess we should go home for today. <sighs> hey, it's me. Got a minute? I have some interesting news. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person, and that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Nakanohara? That's Matarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. just spoke of is true there have to be other victims okay i'm gonna end this here now I'll just add this now to anyone who actually watches this video this live stream i need i need you to listen to this i um said i want to in the beginning but i'll say it again you see there's this um new channel i have called rio cross player rio, rio starting with the cross it started with an I, and well, actually, real with an I, cross with an X, and player. That now I have this new now with that new channel. I'm gonna be posting these videos online. I'm only doing it on this channel because well, it's been a while since so actually um um it's been a while since so I actually posted on this channel. Plus, there are more subscribers here. So if anything, please like and subscribe on and not on this channel. But on the next channel, when I post some, um, when I do another live stream tomorrow, if anyone who listens to this at, and watch till the end of the video, watch till the end of the video, please go to Rio Cross Player. Again, Rio with an I, Cross with an X, and Player, all together. So, uh, I I gotta thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you guys later. Santa, let's do it. Oh, and one more thing, spread rumors, and that's good for business.